I mean, as a man, you can't ask a woman to come to your city, live in your house, and pick up everything that she has, wherever she is, and expect her to be paying anything. All right, so let me ask you this question, right? Because a relationship is supposed to be reciprocal. So at that point, what are you there? Because I'm, talk I'm talking for a man that has options. Are you are you picking up to go where she is? I, even if I did, the situation would still remain the same. I don't care if I come to you or you come to me. The situation is going to remain the same because you coming to my home, I don't know what else you would do besides the sex, but you have to be doing something else. If you asking Aaron Campbell to move somewhere, <laughs> shit need to be set up for me to move somewhere. I need somewhere to stay. Yeah, I'll find me a job. You know what I mean? Like, that's that, that's only... Because I have a job where I'm at. You know what I mean? But you you can't expect me to pick up all my good shit that I got going on, my friends, my family, my job, my investments, my this, that, and the other, and have me come and, and suffer in silence. You know what I'm saying? With no support system. With, that sounds with... good, but like you got to also be realistic because you're in a long-distance relationship, which means that you love this person, which means that you are dedicating your life potentially to this person. It sounds good to say if I was a girlfriend, I don't expect any girlfriend to move anywhere for any man. Right. But you're talking about somebody you see as your husband. So if you see them as your husband or somebody that could be your husband, you're willing to take cer certain sacrifices. So leaving your family and leaving your friends, even if it's in the same state, comes when you move in with your husband. So you're doing that regardless. So now my thing is- no, 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 If you stay in the same city, yeah. your parents live down the street. Yeah, but like, you, how you, often not, are you gonna be at your parents' house? Let's be realistic. You got work and you got a husband. My mother-in-law lives a block from me. Uh huh. So we see my mother-in-law all the time. You see your mother-in-law. The same way I can up and move to New York, which I have, my husband could have moved to Houston. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Could have moved to Houston and we would have been by my mama's house. Yeah. We would have been by my daddy's house. We could see my siblings all the time. You understand what I'm saying? It, so it's not, it, it, I don't think, I think the person who is having someone move to them has to do a lot of soul searching and understand you got to step up and provide. You got to provide a house. You got to provide a car. You know what? When I moved here, I'm from, I'm from Texas. We don't have four all-wheel drive vehicles. We buy rear-wheel or, or you know, rear-wheel driven vehicles. So you know what? I had to get a job here. I had to buy a car here. I had to have to, somewhere to live here. I had to do a whole bunch of shit here. So, so real yeah. talk, I don't want to hear shit. You need to make the shit nice and right for me when I get here.